no, I broke the test tube. But don't throw it away, I had a great idea. This is a very good material for creating a cool nest for ants. And I created a truly fantastic huh? place and settled a colony of ants there. This will be a really fantastic place. Well, my friends, we only need a few elements to create a true work of art. Namely, an ant hill that will look like an ant base on Mars when all the materials are collected. Now we pour water and use special layers of gypsum that I soak and apply to the container. This will be the basis for building the rest of the future capsule. I put some foam under the bottom of the plaster for volume. And now it's time to install the pieces of broken glass. Very carefully apply plaster on both sides to secure the glass. Now that the first nest is ready, I put a few more pieces of glass here and carefully connect them with the tubes that will serve as passages for the ants. But I made a big mistake, and I didn't close the holes with plaster well. Soon, you will see how the ants will run away from here. Now the most interesting part? I create an incredible relief from orange sand, like on Mars. Then it is important to clean the glass so that it is perfectly crystal clear, so that we can see the ants well. At the end, I made a small entrance, through which I will populate the insects. Just look how beautiful it looks, like a real bison moss. Now it's time to populate it with ant colonies. Camponotus maculatus would be perfect for living in the sand hill. Oh no! My cat broke the test tube again. I decided to remove the lid since it is not needed here. And now I am carefully connecting the test tube to the future ant house. They will be shocked when they see what I have done for them. After a while, the first ants have already started to investigate and study the new territory. But the whole colony has not moved in yet. Oh wait! Who is that moving inside? It looks like these are little cockroaches that got in there during the construction of the ant hill. The ant is shocked and immediately starts hunting this creature. They were running from one nest to another. But later the soldier ant caught the cockroach and they got a good protein bar. In the meantime the relocation process continued. The ants were still actively studying their new future home. And quite a large number of ants moved into the capsules. This place really looks like a real ant hill underground. But after a while I saw that the ants started carrying pieces of cotton wool into these nests. But why do they do that? Maybe they create their own interior and design. I wanted to make beautiful lighting here with LED lamps too, but I think it will still be stress for the ants, so I gave up on this idea. If the ants get less stress, then they develop faster. But what is happening here? Why do the ants move for so long? Maybe they still need a little more time? Hmm? Then I'll wait a little longer. A few moments later. Later all the ants that were in the test tube migrated to this base on Mars. And when I added some water to moisten the nest, I saw that the ants in this capsule became more because they like high humidity. And later they laid many of their fresh eggs there. The colony was getting bigger every day. And it looks like the ant queen is incredibly happy with her new possessions. As she got a wonderful castle for her future empire. And this colony has a great future and development. Look how the worker ants take care of their mother. And now several weeks have passed since they moved into the nest. And it's time to finish this house. That's why I made special lids that close the capsules and create comfortable darkness in the nests. And I also decided to make a large arena, where the ants will actively run and hunt. First I will make a hole with a hot glue gun, then I made a beautiful relief and added some accessories here. Look how beautiful it looks. The last steps and I'm already connecting the arena to the nest. Now it's time to give the ants some syrup. And after a while I noticed a few ants in the new territory. Oh wow! Look how this ant's belly swells when it drinks syrup. But these friends still need a lot of protein for good development. So I gave them a cricket. And immediately the soldier ants ran into the arena, eager to hunt for fresh prey. Immediately several ants quickly took and dragged the prey into their nests and began to share the fresh dinner among themselves. Now that the colony has received nutrients, the queen can create a new generation of worker ants. But several more cockroaches appeared in the arena from somewhere. The ants immediately did not even understand who they were and simply began to ignore them as if they were just neighbors. Oh, the cockroach decided to swim in a pool of syrup. Just two months ago there were only a few dozen ants. Now there are already a lot of ant pupae in the nest and soon the colony will increase at least twice they were actively drinking syrup but once i noticed ants in the middle of the plaster this is bad news the ants nod through what i made for them but despite this these ants are very beautiful and active just look how they cutely take cockroaches and carefully carry them to their nests the colony is growing before our eyes 
so soon I am thinking of making another similar base on Mars for them. Thank you for watching, join the sponsors, it will help the channel a lot. See you soon!